Hello friends. So in this video, we will take a look at what is conductivity. Then we will compare the conductivity of semiconductors to that of conductors and insulators. Then we will discuss uh, simply about why we need semiconductors. Then we will discuss different methods to change the conductivity of semiconductor. So we have said that semiconductors are materials having conductivity between that of conductors and insulators. So conductivity, it is the ability of a material to conduct electricity. It is the ability to conduct electricity. We know that metals are very good conductors. So they have high conductivity. And the reason is that they have a large number of charge carriers. So they have a large number of charge carriers in them. So they act as really good conductors. So they have high conductivity. Now in the case of insulators, if we take a look at the case of insulators, insulators have low conductivity. But in the case of insulators, there is a scarcity of charge carriers. Now about the unit of conductivity, the unit of conductivity is ohm inverse centimeter inverse. So the unit of conductivity is ohm inverse centimeter inverse. Another way to represent it is more per centimeter. The symbol that we will be using to represent conductivity during the solid state lectures will be sigma. So this is the symbol we are going to use. Now we will take a look at how we go to this unit. Now we know that conductivity is the reciprocal of resistivity. We know that the unit of resistivity is ohm meter. The unit of resistance is ohm and that of resistivity is ohm meter. So that's why we got the unit of conductivity as ohm inverse meter inverse. So now let's compare the conductivity of different materials. So along this direction we have increasing value of conductivity of different materials. So we have increasing conductivity along this direction. And if you look at it, we have insulators which have low conductivity and we have metals which have high conductivity and we have semiconductors having conductivity between these two. Now if you take a look at the range of values, we have insulators. The range is around 10 power minus 8 and decreasing that is 10 power minus 8, 10 power minus 12, 10 power minus 16 and so on. And metals we have high conductivity that is the values are of the order of say 10 power 3, 10 power 4 and increasing. Now semiconductors have conductivity in between these two. We have insulators that do not conduct and we have metals which always conducts. Right? But what semiconductor does is it gives us a wide range of electrical and optical properties. We can change the conductivity of a semiconductor. So it adds an element of control in deciding the electrical and optical properties. We have seen a list of semiconductor materials and we can use them according to our requirement of electrical and optical properties. And once we have selected a material, we can have more control by some processes. That means we can control the conductivity of that material by some process. These are few of them. Like we can add impurities to the, this is the preferable method. We can add impurities to the system and the process of adding impurities is called doping. And it is not that we can add any impurity, but, but we have to choose the right impurity at the right amount. So it is the controlled addition of impurities. Now we will discuss about it in later videos and Another way to increase the conductivity is to optically excite. So if, if an electromagnetic wave of sufficient wavelength falls on the semiconductor, it will generate charge carriers in the system. An important point to note here is that the incident wave should have sufficient energy. Sufficient energy to generate the charge carriers. Another way is to thermally excite it. That means as the temperature increases, it is seen that semiconductors, the conductivity of semiconductors increases. 
so with the temperature the conductivity of semiconductor tend to increase so this is because temperature also generate charge carriers so the conductivity increases so as temperature increases we have charge carriers generated in them now let's summarize what we have learned we have seen that conductivity is the ability of a material to conduct electricity we will be using the symbol sigma and the unit we will be using is mole per centimeter we have compared the conductivity of insulators semiconductors and metals and we have found that semiconductors offers a wide range of electrical and optical properties it adds an element of control and the conductivity can be varied by we can add controlled amount of impurities the process is called doping we can optically excite it the important point here is that the wave the incident wave should have sufficient energy and another way is to thermally excite this so see you all in the next video